Hey everybody, this is Justin from FrugalSnobs.com. What's up YouTube? Brought another currency review video. Brockers with me, say hello. Hello. So this time we have another currency review video for a British note. This is the Series C five pound note. This is an awesome bill. Yes. It's very colorful, blue and purple, mostly blue, as Christina yes. points out. Very different artwork on this particular note. You don't have the block lettering scheme. It's much more stylish. Yes. Uh, the current uh, pound notes look nothing like this. No. They're much more mass produced. This is a piece of art. It's pretty. Yeah, I mean, the letters are just so curvy and, like, classy. It, it basically it almost looks like it's one piece. And yes. It's not an, a superimposed piece. And this is the first series of banknotes to carry the monarch. Yes. Uh, the series C notes. I believe these entered circulation in February 1963. Yes, that's and, when they really started. And basically they stopped printing. Printing was ceased in 1971. Yes. And bills were withdrawn in 1973. So you're not going to find these bills in circulation, folks. No. Um, also, if you'd like to see a previous series, note, you, can, you can check out the five-pound note from the Series B. We also reviewed that note here on YouTube. Check out the video here on the channel. That is the Helmet to Britannia note. But back to this bill. You will see, again, the first images of an Elizabeth II Proudly displayed on this bill. Oh, yeah. Wearing an, a very particular crown in yes. this case. It is a squared jewel crown. Versus the rounded jewel or tiara crown. Yes. Um, you'll also see the images from the same time frame of the monarch in other territories, dominions, and spheres of influence for the UK are different for the monarch. So oh, if yes. You at, if you look at Canadian notes, for example, from this period, they're very different. Yeah, they're, she's not wearing a crown at all. Right, and it's. I think people do, kind of pass this by, but I think as a numismatist... Um, or if you're getting into banknote or coin collecting, to a collector, these small details mean a lot. It, it also uh, mean a lot to your wallet. Yes, they do, because these small details also can mean a lot or a little in terms of the the commonality of the bills. Now, we did talk about uh, being uncommon versus rare in a previous video. Uh, you can go back again to the Series B note video uh, for the five-pound note and check out our discussion, so please do go check out that video. But, again, Elizabeth II is uh, first introduced on this bill, and I believe it's the first series of British banknotes ever to feature a monarch. Um, again, previous notes I don't believe featured a monarch, at least in the UK. I don't believe so. Um, but very interesting that's the first year that Elizabeth II appears on a banknote. Yes. So, very, very cool. So, that being the case, Anything else you want to talk about on the front side of this note? Yeah, and it's different from the Series B note where the fives are both on the right-hand side. Mm -hmm. As you look at this bill, there's one in the upper right, and then the other five is in the lower left. Ah, so it's basically obverse corners of the yes. bill. Yes. Interesting. Interesting. And again, the artwork on this bill is very beautiful. You're not going to find these notes anymore. Christina's been on a buying binge. She's been doing a very good job um, of purchasing. So I think she was very happy to pick up this bill. Yes. Very cool. So, let's go ahead and take a look at the back. All right. Very crisp note. Oh, yes. Very pretty. So, what is on the back side of this note? Just like on the front, in the upper right and lower left, they have the fives for the five pound. And you still have Britannia on this bill. Yes. It, she's actually in two places. One mm -hmm. is a tactile feature. Mm -hmm. The other is actually in the center of the back. So, a tactile feature, just in case anybody is not aware, is really a security feature. Um, you'll see, obviously, more of these features uh, for any counterfeiting purposes on mo more current banknotes. But these features have been on banknotes for years and years. Uh, Canada introduced Braille on their banknotes. The United States also introduced holographic images or uh, raised images on banknotes in recent years. You'll find those typically on the $100 bill, most notably, in recent times. But uh, to see tactile features on banknotes in the UK, uh, even back in the 60s and early 70s, is pretty cool. Um, I at least am one to believe that uh, fiscal policy and monetary policy and printing and engraving are far more advanced, I think, Oh yeah. Uh, in Europe than they are here in the United States. But I do think we are catching up, uh, and there's a lot to, to really see in terms of the coming uh, series of notes and coins that are coming out of Europe. Um, and again, uh, for those who are interested, we will be reviewing at some point the new 12-sided uh, one pound coins that are bimetallic from the UK. We'll get to those in a later video, but this is a cool bill. Yes, I mean, it's, it's actually really neat to see the seated Britannia. She has a shield mm -hmm. down by um, by her arm. No helmet. No helmet. Cape. Yes. And a spear. Yes, and she's holding like a branch with leaves on it. Like, it's like almost like a hasp or yes. something like that. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Although I should say a hasp actually has thorns on it, but. Um, let's just say it's a, an olive branch, possibly, possibly, or something like that. 
Um, but really cool bill, very interesting. Um, and again, for anybody who else who wants to see the other uh, banknotes that were reviewed, please check out the YouTube channel for the banknote and coin reviews. Also for all of the UK banknotes, uh, we've reviewed several, including the Isaac Newton note and also the Helmeted Britannia note. It's pretty cool stuff, everybody, and we're getting into some really nice bills at this point, so we're really looking forward to building the collection and bringing uh, additional currency reviews to everybody. Now, if you want to hear more about the Frugal Snobs or our just our general uh, shenanigans, you can check out the Frugal Snobs podcast. Go to frugalsnobs.com, or you can subscribe on your podcatcher of choice. Uh, so do check out the Frugal Snobs podcast. Hit the subscribe button while you're there. And also, of course, while you're here on YouTube, leave a comment, check out... Uh, the additional videos, 